assuming a new identity, takes only moving to a distant settlement. You say only, like it's easy. Oh, I've started streaming good, so now uh, the, <laughs> the person upstairs is coming downstairs to distract me. Okay, so that's okay. That's cool, the world revolves around me, don't worry about it. Also, that's a normal noise. Though I'm seeing like some, um... Oh, those are roads! I thought it was like a Great Wall situation. But I guess those are the titular roads. On the left there... Oh, it's a bird! I thought it was an arrow down pointing at like something I'm supposed to do over here. See? <laughs> Every now and then it flaps its wings, and until then it really looks like it's like there's gold in them there hills, you know? Or um, beige, as it were. Does that count as beige? Does it look beige to you? The target's favorite color is beige. Thank you, Diana. Okay, so I don't remember what was going on with this. I know I say that every time I start anything. I know I was enjoying it. I, um. I think I took some sap from a magic tree. I don't know. <laughs> Woo, holy Moses, essay. Okay, um... I, I don't think I've ever said holy Moses before. I don't know where that came from. It definitely came from, um... The <laughs> very tangible discomfort of aforementioned proximity. That was not in my plans. That's okay, though. Um, the thugs of my youth. That's quite the phrase. We seem to be in some kind of village, I don't know. Um, am I confusing this with something else? I think I went back to- Oh no, I'm thinking of Sunless Sea, I think. Oh no. If I'm confusing this game with a game that different in terms of little narrative bits, that's uh... That bodes ill for me. In and out of the text. I gotta get a new fucking mic stand. I can't keep adjusting this one. Ain't doing my hands no favors either. Such an awkward wheel to grip. Um, I hope you're doing okay. I have a possibly inadvisable, technically second cup of coffee. Although the first one was at counseling. And I think it's instant coffee. She accidentally gave me hers instead of mine. And you know what? I'm just gonna stop asking for sugar in it. It tastes better without. There's probably some in there already, which, yeah, I guess I didn't consider that. If it is instant, which... Pretty sure. This is, uh, some high-level commentary. I'm stalling the gameplay. But the gameplay is just talking like I'm talking, so... Uh, occasionally it's interspliced with words like Hovlovan, which is... Slightly more confusing and also a little bit familiar to me. Uh, is that where I'm from or something? I really... <laughs> I would have revisited the VOD to recap, um, if it meant all that much to me, but also... That's not an easy thing to do. It's not like I summarize at the end, I probably didn't remember by the end of the last stream what was happening at the start of it. Such is... The damage my memory has suffered. You explain that while the place is still called the bad part of the city... Okay, we're in a city. Good to know. The boarhead makes good coins selling beer and ale to students, mercenaries, and adventurers. The whole land may turn wild one day, you quote one of the local traders, but Backward Corner will stay the same. I remember this, so I'm not actually confusing it with Sunless Sea. It's slightly coming back to me. This is like my hometown, but I think the decision I made rendered it such, rather than it being a prescribed situation. Maybe? Archive. Archive. Okay. Helpful. I think. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? She titters weakly. I tweet biannually. Did you ever find your daughter? Um... So I know this person, but how? I found the ro I have not found the road warden. But I've made progress. Okay. I am perusing. I am skimming from bottom to top, so um, probably not all that effective. 
I just want to know who you are. God, this is a long conversation. Hang on. You're not an expert when it comes to linen. What the fuck? Why are you swinging for me now? The mayor spends a good couple of minutes describing the outstanding quality of what the village has to offer, especially the clothes, which are meant to be as unique as those made by Master Crispus. Uh, you vaguely recognize the name of this tailor shoemaker, but you've never earned enough to pay him for as much as a single sleeve. So yeah, we're back in the, um, I think we're back in the hometown. She walks to one of the table and offers her trencher to an elderly man, okay. Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have to in media res it. Because I'm just retreading previously red ground. And, um, unfortunately it is not getting me back up to date. Because I'm bad at it. She sighs with relief and puts her left hand on her hip. Which hip? Right, hopefully. That looked very awkward. Comforting, don't you think? That there are these places, these dark corners. So probably last time I was basically voicing her as Daphne Moon. <laughs> it's my expectation, because for whatever reason, it seems to be my go-to voice. Especially in these ye olde townies. Um, Van Zant. There was no I in townies. But there is a team. No, there isn't. Wait. If you turn the W upside down. There isn't an A, though. There's a Tem. If you turn the W upside down. There's a wet if you don't. Oh my god! She sighs with relief and puts her left hand on her hip. Comforting, don't you think, that there are these places, these dark corners where you can always find what you expect. Living there, though, that sounds awful and always was. She chuckles. I bet the thugs of my youth are no longer around, so I wouldn't count on them giving me a free pass. But I wish I could have the chance to drink a mug or two with the innkeeper once more. The old lady was always too good to stay in that muck. Okay, um... Have you heard of the necromancers in the north? She taps her fingers on the table. Yes, I have. After you ask her to tell you more, she seems to regain her confidence. You mean White Marshes, for sure. I don't know all that much about what's happening there. We avoid their lands if we can. She frowns. I shouldn't gossip about it with strangers. We can talk about it on another occasion. I thought she was from my youth. She's not from my youth. She doesn't even go here. What the fuck? I think I don't even go here. I don't go anywhere. You seem to be fairly well off, even more so than the other people in the village. How dare you? As she reaches for her buckle and her voice grows cold. Ooh, that had some cadence. Um, okay, there's no secret traveler. There's hard work, risks and sacrifices, and the support of those that care about me. The good things that happen to me shine on my people just as much. Think about it before you mention it again. Yeah, I did, it, I felt like I was coming off a little bit rude. I kind of just... Read the first one my eye landed on. And then clicked on it without consulting the others. And that's, um... No good. That is not how you are intended to play these things. Where was I? Was I in Pelt of the North? Did the innkeeper feel uneasy about Klausia's band? It's very possible. But it's not ringing any bells. I was in the ruined village south from here. Her tense gaze shifts into an awkward click of her tongue as she leans away from you. I don't even want to think about their tragic fate. No one can negotiate with the wrath of wrath. I tried to, I tried to roll my eyes, but the coffee is taking the ability clean out of my mouth. Wrath of the herds. Ooh, there's herds out there. Herds of what though? <laughs> A long pause. Okay, that's good for me because I need to drink coffee. Let her cook. She'll get there. And I better not find you upsetting my neighbors with these sad questions. She got there. It was a challenge in time for all of us. A wound we won't forget. Hang on, hang on. Okay, a wound we won't forget. One second. 
Th see, these are the, these, you could, this is the opening lines of a damn song. She reaches for a buckle and her voice grows cold. And then, a wound we won't forget is the second line. She reaches for a buckle and her voice grows cold. A wound we won't forget. Be old. Everybody is, um, uh, what rhymes with get? I mean, Gret, but like, I don't think people say that outside of like where I live, so I don't know. Oh, you are Gretty. All right, that's okay. What do we got? Uh, what do you think about the scavenger who was here before? I don't know why I keep turning into 60% of the characters in Oblivion. Ah, he's still alive, she says with distaste. He brought us some news from the north and paid off his debt to us, but he's an idler and a prattler. Drinks, too. The farther away he stays from here, the better. Okay. Tell me of Howler's Dell. Uh, it is what it seems like. The greatest village in the far north. She raises her hand and makes an inviting gesture. The rock is in the building. She's probably not throwing the Rockefeller diamond. But it's vague enough that I'm allowed to think she is. Even if I don't believe it. Though I still hope to improve this a hoop. I, I hiccuped the word hope. This never happened to me before. I'm fucking faded, man. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm so hungry, but instead of eating, I um I don't know, what's the euphemism? But also I I live in a place where it's definitely legal. Um You know, I I um attended the Grateful Dead concert. That surely is a timely reference drawn from my own generation and not like three generations above me. Um where was I? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is happening anymore. How did I get here? How do I work this? What have I done? <sighs> okay. I'm going to I'm going to get into the zone. It doesn't help that my microphone keeps falling because of the stand. I'm going to get one that clamps to the desk and I think uh swoops under the monitor. It just might be awkward cuz I also have speakers on the um the I'll have to figure it out, because no more of this butchie. No more. Okay. She winks at you, but is suddenly interrupted by the pained cry of a little boy who hurt his knee during a fall? Oh god. It's all fucking kicking off, it's happening again. Sorry, occasionally I want to sip coffee and it's easier to just press buttons on the <laughs> on the the um the button slab life's good here no it's not kid just fucking exploded his damn knee dude as an amused elder tries to calm him down the mouse shrugs it off and titters then meets your eyes again life's good here all right wow you know he heard you say that, right? There's fucking blood pouring out of his knee. You're just laughing like everyone here is happy. What the fuck is going on, man? We have what we need and a lot of what we want. Building on top of more than 12 generations of hard work and bravery. She spends a good few minutes telling you about mouflons, wheat, rye, hemp, cheese, and wool. Proud of every glimpse of prosperity. Whenever she meant an... Coffee dries my mouth out way too much. I should not drink it on stream. Unfortunately, I kind of psychologically just associate them. As opposed to what? Like, <laughs> physiologically? What are you talking about? Psychologically. Who made you president of fucking Harvard College? Get back in your hole. Life's good here. We have what we need and a lot of what we want, building on top of more than 12 generations of hard work and bravery. She spends a good few minutes telling you about mouflons, wheat, rye, hemp, cheese, and wool, proud of every glimpse of prosperity. Whenever she mentions an artisan, shepherd, or farmer, she doesn't miss a chance to mention how significantly she improved their conditions. She also omits some topics. 
You hear of no tales, songs, ancestors, rituals, or days of prayer. It's like listening to a tax collector. Only at the very end of her speech does she mention the wisdom of the elders, now kept in the teachings of the druids, who help her guide those who trust her. They heal our wounds and our gardens, she explains, but then changes the topic to all of the fruit trees, hers, and nuts in the woods. Once she's done with it, I nod politely. Tell me, how do people dress in the city these days? Is it similar to what we have here? Before the war, the merchants were wearing those really long dresses and robes, way too long for my taste. They got mud stains after every rain, and I see no reason to keep shoes completely hidden. Um, I don't know how people dress in the city. I'm a road warden. I do road shit. What are you talking about? Who do you think I am? Sorry, I'm licking coffee off my hands because I bounced it on my leg a little bit and it went everywhere. <laughs> I'm a fucking gremlin today. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm so mentally and physically exhausted, okay? I've been out. I've been walking around. I've been talking. It's annoying. And I really should have eaten. But I didn't have anything that I wanted to eat. Um... For years, there was not enough hemp and wool at hand, so people have started to wear furs again. That's just sad. When I were there, only the monks wore them, for some reason. I've no doubt that the vengeful beasts have thrown the roads into a nightmare. The city folk would be smarter putting on rags. Even though she sighs, there is a cruel satisfaction in her smile. Yeah, she is a little bit weird, right? It's I was cottoning onto that when she was laughing at the child's pain. Um... I don't know. Oh, I, you are not gonna believe this though. I saw a weird tree. South from here, the one with the altar standing in front of it. She straightens up and raises her chin. You mean Beholder, the guardian spirit of our wetlands. Every fall we bring out our gifts and in return it provides us with its blessed fruit, the flesh of the forest. She stares into your eyes. It's older than the oldest books and the oldest thoughts. The druids help us honor its sleep and show us how to ask for its help. Neither of these rituals, she scoffs, would be of use for you. All right, wow. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I'm, that was disingenuous. I don't actually appreciate her time. Um, Have we spoken to... <laughs> I know this is probably pronounced differently, but I'm going to call you Thigh. Have we spoken to Thigh? Were you Thigh? You were thigh. Yeah, I don't like you. Okay. I didn't have a name to the title. Um. Eric's. Maybe. Even though the counter stands outdoors, it's not rotten or dirty. And you guess that, like the other furniture, it's brought inside every night. Why am I still spilling coffee on myself? What the fuck is this, man? <laughs> The cup's like almost empty and somehow I'm jostling it enough that it's 